What's up, everybody? Mike Ainello here with the Action Network, here to give you my best MLB plays for Friday. The first one, I'm gonna go with the Seattle Mariners minus 110 at the Kansas City Royals. The Mariners desperately need a win today after dropping two straight to the Red Sox to fall four games behind in the wild card spot. It's Chris Flexen day. I love Chris Flexen. Fellow KVO betters from last summer should also love Chris Flexen. And he's been the Mariners' best pitcher this year. He's 11 and six with a 3.73 ERA. He started the year much better at home, so road starts were a concern for a bit. But in his last six road starts since the All-Star break, he has a 2.58 ERA. I think he's figured it out. Brady Singer's going for Kansas City. He's really struggled this year. He's got a 4.85 ERA, and he's given up a ton of walks. Kyle Seeger and Mitch Hanniger have been crushing the ball for Seattle, and the Mariners' offense has been the most clutch team in the league and leads the league in weighted on base average and weighted runs created in high leverage situations. Take Seattle on the money line at minus 110. For my second play, I'm gonna go with the under in the Reds and the Dodgers game. Now that might seem like a weird pick considering these are two of the best offenses in baseball, but over the last 30 days, the Dodgers ranked just 22nd in weighted on base average and weighted runs created, while the Reds sit 28th in those two categories. Max Muncy and Chris Taylor are both banged up for the Dodgers. They're probably gonna play, but I don't think they're 100%. Jesse Winker's still out for Cincinnati, so both teams are kind of limited. Walker Buehler's pitching for the Dodgers. He's probably a Cy Young candidate. Might be him or Scherzer, to be honest with you. He's been dominant. He's 14 and three with a 2.32 ERA, the third best mark in the league. Buehler's as consistent as they come. He's pitched at least six full innings in 28 of his 29 starts this year and teams are batting just 195 against him on the season. On the other side will be former All-Star Luis Castillo. Now, he got off to a dreadful start this season and was pretty much auto-fade, but since June 1st, he's been much better. He has a 2.91 ERA since June, and he's allowed just one run or fewer in 10 of his last 19 starts. I like under eight and a half here with two offenses that are kind of reeling a bit and two capable pitchers. Obviously you need Walker, Walker Buehler to be on and have him do most of the work to keep the Reds at bay. But Castillo's proven when he's on, he can shut down a lineup too. So give me that under eight and a half. Those are my two plays for Friday. Good luck.